Hello and welcome to the West Midlands Regional Cybercrime Unit YouTube channel. So this video marks the seventh part in our Cyber Essentials series and this week we are talking about access control. So if you haven't seen the previous part to our access control videos, go ahead and watch that one and come back to this. And also, if you want to see more, learn more about Cyber Essentials, go ahead and check out our previous videos in our Cyber Essentials playlist. We're just going to have a little recap on what we covered last week. So access control is a fundamental component of data security. So this dictates who's allowed to access and use company information and resources. Access control can minimize the potential damage that could be done if an account is misused or stolen. Staff accounts should have just enough access to software settings and functions for them to be able to perform their role. Any other permissions should be assigned only to those who need them. Also, accounts with administrative privileges should only be used to perform those administrative tasks. So standard accounts should be used for the general work. So an IT technician should only be used that admin account for their IT technical work, whereas they should have a, a separate account specifically for emails, web browsing and things like that. This is because if they click on a malicious link or bad attachment on their admin account, this is going to be able to, the malware is going to be able to spread far, far more easily through the account that has much higher privileges. So two-step verification. This provides a way of basically double checking that you are the person you're claiming to be when you're using these online services. So this provides an additional layer of security compared to just having, say, a password. Because if someone gets hold of your password, they're not going to be able to get into your account without having some additional verification. So a couple of examples of that could be, say, the uh, Google Authenticator app, the Microsoft Authenticator app, as you can see on the screen. You say could be texted or emailed a one-time code that you just have to type in. Um, they also could be physical forms of two-step verification, such as like having a smart card that you've got to plug into your laptop before you can log in, or perhaps a, a USB. So the requirements for this week's technical control theme are implementing two-step verification where available. So we've already spoken a little bit about that. We should be using administrative accounts to perform administrative activities only. So as I said, you know, emailing, web browsing, or standard user activities that could expose these accounts to avoidable risks. And finally, remove or disable special access privileges when no longer required. So we're going to have a little bit of a deeper look into that now. So in this demonstration, I'm just going to quickly show you how to revoke access privileges to certain files or folders for a user. So this could be perhaps if they've changed department. So with access control, you've, you've kind of got to operate on the principle of least privilege. So if a user doesn't need access to something for their job role, they shouldn't have access to that thing. So I'm just going to quickly show you it's a file in here. So we're just going File Explorer into our shared folder. Then here we've got a little secret folder here. So we, we can get into it. We can access the document inside. So say in this scenario, the user that we're using has moved department and as with their job role, they don't need access to this folder anymore. So what we're going to do now is switch over to the administrator and revoke access to that file. So we're just going to log in here into the administrator account. Go navigate basically to the same file, so secret folder here. Again, we can get inside, we can view the contents. So what we're going to do here is we are going to properties, right click, then properties, security. So here we can see which users are allowed access to this file. So this is the user we're currently on. So this is the administrator. So this has got full control. It can modify, read and execute, list the folder contents, read and write. Whereas this user we were on before, it can read and execute, can list the contents and read it. So you can 
allow and deny privileges through this menu. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to revoke this user's access entirely because they're moving department and they don't need access to it anymore. So we just click the user, click edit, select the user, and we're just going to press remove. Then apply. OK. OK. Close that off. Now we'll just test it out. Now we'll log back in as our other user. Navigate to the same drive. Secret folder. And now we don't have access to it. So we could type in the administrator password to allow access, but we're not going to for the purpose of this demonstration. So that is just one way to revoke access for a user. For more information on access control, please visit the NCSC website and the Cyber Essentials website. If you're interested in the Cyber Essentials scheme for your business and would like to find out more, again, please visit the Cyber Essentials website. This video makes use of the latest NCSC and Cyber Essentials guidance at the time of recording. Thank you so much for watching this video on access control. Please subscribe to the channel for future videos around cybersecurity and check out the rest of our Cyber Essentials playlist.